Okay, hello everyone. I'd like to introduce uh, Nick Jackson, Masters of Wine, who's going to be doing our third segment of the Science of Wine Tasting series. Um, that's going to be starting April 12th, and his segment is called Beyond Flavor. So just quickly, Nick Jackson is a British Master of Wine and author of the book, Beyond Flavor. It's an influential study of wine tasting. He owns and operates the School of Taste, an online platform for wine tasting webinars. And he became a master of wine in 2019, having passed all the exams at the first attempt. Quite a feat there. <laughs> um, so uh, Nick spent seven years at Sotheby's in the UK and the US as a wine specialist, uh, culminating in five years as the, the wine buyer for the New York retail business. Um, in 2018, Nick left Sotheby's to establish his own advisory business called Vintage Variation LLC, which advises private clients, retailers, and other wine businesses on all aspects of fine wine. Nick now lives in Florida. Okay, um, we'd like to just uh, kind of give you a little glimpse of what his segment is going to be addressing, what it's going to be all about. So I'm going to ask Nick three questions. Uh, pertaining to his segment Beyond Flavor. So Nick, um, can you tell us where do the ideas that you're going to be talking about come from? Hi Mary, yeah, sure. So most of the ideas we're gonna be talking about in these webinars come from my recently published book last year, 20, 2020, I published this at the beginning of last year, uh, come from that book. And in that book, um, I talk about a lot of the ideas for tasting that I got from when I was studying for the Master of Wine tasting exams. Um, I had to sort of develop my own system of tasting in order to be able to pass those exams. And having done that, and after I'd finished with the rest of the MW program, I decided to write them down in the form of a book. Um, and uh, since it's been published, um, people have really appreciated what I had to say. So uh, I've been um, trying to sort of introduce these ideas to more people since then. Okay, okay, great. Um, the second question is, uh, what will we do and what will the students achieve by following these webinars, by following your segment Beyond Flavor? Sure, so uh, three webinars. Um, my conception um, of wine tasting um, is simply that by assessing the structure of a wine rather than just its flavors, we can understand the identity of the wine a bit better. So this is practically useful for any students who are taking blind tasting exams. That's the most immediate and obvious uh, effect, but also for people generally interested in why wines taste like they do. So the first thing we'll do is uh, in the first session, I'll introduce my conception of how you taste for structure in a wine, because it is quite um, a different approach to maybe many people's approaches to, to tasting. And so we'll take two varieties, one white and one red. Uh, we'll look at Chenin Blanc in white wine, Cabernet Sauvignon in red wine. And we'll talk about the ways that we can taste and identify structure in those two varieties. And we'll use those as our guides for the remaining two sessions. Now in those, we'll have one session devoted to white wines, where we'll taste three important white varieties, and we'll look at structure in white wines, which means acid structure. And then in the third and final session, we'll look at three red wines, and we'll talk about the way that we can taste for tannin structure, and how tannin structure can tell us a lot about the identity of a wine. Okay, fascinating. So acidity, constant focus on acidity and tannic structure then for to exactly. improve wine tasting skills. All right. So okay. acid structure in white wines, tannic structure in red wines. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So uh, you are going to be uh, giving recommended wines um, for students to follow along, to taste along with your webinars. Just. So the interesting thing about my approach is that I make this quite big claim that the structure of varieties do not change wherever you grow the variety, whatever kind of winemaking you do on it. So um, all the students will need to do who want to attend these sessions is to buy an example of each one of the varieties that I talk about. And so the variety, I mean, look, if you want to, as long as the variety, you know, the wine costs more than 15 US dollars, 15 euros, 15 GBP, then I think you'll be fine. You'll get a representative example. And then the students can test my th theories for themselves. When we're looking at Cabernet Sauvignon in the first session, we can co compare Napa and Bordeaux and Super Tuscans, and we'll see whether my theories are right. So that's all part of the fun of these sessions. 
Yeah, sounds fascinating. Great. Okay. Um, and the third and final question is, why does any of this actually matter? I mean, that's, you know, a really important question. Um, on the one hand, yes, there are a lot of tips in here, I think, for students who are doing blind tasting uh, exams. That's obviously um, useful practically for them. But I think, you know, I've been thinking about this for a year since the book was published and a couple of years before that. And I guess I'm beginning to realize now that we're dealing with something when it comes to structure that affects two things, really. First of all, how the wine behaves when it's on your on your mouth, on your palate, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if structure is, as I believe it is, the basic architecture or the underlying mechanics of a wine, uh, understanding structure is essential for being able to understand why it's doing what it's doing when it's on your palate. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. And the second thing is um, that I think it helps us to understand winemaking choices as well. When a winemaker is making a wine, whether or not they're explicitly thinking about structure in the way that I describe it, implicitly it's always there in the background. So those kind of winemaking decisions about things like blending and other winemaking choices, often structure will be uh, a significant part of that uh, decision-making process. So it's always there in the background. And I think for people to get an understanding of structure, perhaps if they haven't um, thought about it in a completely focused way before, might just sort of be a bit of an eye-opening experience when it comes to these bigger picture aspects of uh, wine and winemaking. Okay, just really focusing on the structure. I mean, we tend to like to talk about aromas and flavors and things because that's a little bit sexier, but it's true that, um, you know, focusing on the structure with your approach is really the structure that's going to guide you as far as helping you identify uh, the wine in a blind tasting. Yeah, I, so my idea is that each major variety has got um, quite a defined structure, whether acid structure or tannin structure, and that by identifying and understanding that structure, you're very unlikely to confuse that variety with any others. Now, it requires a lot of tasting, a lot of practice in order to be confident with this um, approach, but I have... Um, received a lot of positive feedback from people about the book and um, in other ways that I've taught this approach. So it does seem to resonate with people, not just with, with me as being a sort of quirky personal system of tasting that I practice. Well, great, it sounds absolutely fascinating. And um, Nick, would you advise people to actually maybe read the book before um, they uh, participate in this segment? Either or, if, if um, they want to attend the webinars first, it can be useful perhaps to hear um, me just walk through the steps of tasting one by one, or alternatively, you definitely read the book and come armed with your questions about what you don't understand about the book, what's not clear, um, and you know, practice live with me tasting as we go through the wines, uh, and you can ask your questions. Okay, great. Just want to remind everyone, uh, Nick's book is available um, on the Wine Scholar Guild site as well, um, just underneath the announcement of Nick's webinar. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to just give us a little glimpse of what the students are going to be actually discovering uh, during your segment Beyond Flavor. Uh, sounds absolutely fascinating, and we're looking forward to that on starting on April 12th. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you, Mary.